Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I come up with another very amazing problem. So it is based on infinite uh, circuits. So this problem was uh, given to me by one of my student. He shared it with me. So I thought of making a video on it. So let's discuss the concept of uh, this problem and uh, read the statement of uh, this. So here it is. An infinite grid of resistor is shown in the diagram. Each grid box has a resistance of R. Neglect the resistance of conduct, uh, connecting wires. What is the effective resistance of this circuit across point A and B? Across these two points, we have to find out the effective resistance of this circuit. So let's discuss the concept part of it. So as you can see here, the concept is nature loves symmetry and symmetry is powerful. So in uh, my videos, you would have seen how I use symmetry in uh, solving problems. So it's a very, very powerful tool when it comes to physics. And uh, this problem also is symmetric problem. So we'll try to utilize that and we'll try to simplify the circuit. So here the idea is to make it simple. I'll try to remove some resistances and I'll look for the symmetry in order to find out the resistances where there is no current. So in the circuit, you can see there is symmetry about uh, this line as well as uh, this line. So with respect to this line, we can do the folding of uh, circuit and about this line, about this line, this axis, we can do the uh, current distribution by using the symmetry. All right, so those who have been uh, part of my classes, probably they will uh, know how to utilize symmetries and in, in different type of circuits. So here you can see about this line, since circuit is symmetrical, I can say whatever current is flowing in this branch, same current must be flowing through this. And whatever current is here, the same current will be present in this branch. Whatever current is here, same current must be present at this point also. Whatever current is here, same current must be present here because in the end, we are sending current from A and we are collecting it at B. So since this is the situation, so it will appear as if this current is coming here and just directly going to nearby a resistor. Similarly here, this is going here and directly going to this side similarly here also so i think now you'll be getting the idea what all resistances we are going to remove from it you will see this resistance this resistance this resistance and all these resistances lying on this line will not have any current flowing through this so if they are not going to have any current flowing through this we can remove all these resistances and our circuit will become relatively simple so when i remove the, the remaining circuit will look like this. All right. So here, what I'm going to do is about this point A and B, I'm going to write the effective resistance will be in number times R. In resistance problem, you would have seen that every time uh, we get some answer as 3 by 2 R, 2 R, 3 R, 7 R by 11, 11 R by 4, this kind of answer we are going to get. So it is a real number times a number times the basic resistance which is present in the grid. All these resistances are, are only up till infinity. So this is my circuit now. So what I will do is I am assuming about these two points, about these two points A and B, the effective resistance is a number times R. So whole thing is to find this number. If somehow I can find this number, I am going to get the answer for it. All right. So now my next uh, priority will be to replace the infinite ladder or infinite grid uh, using this relation. If I can do that, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to get the value of K and I'll be getting the answer also for this uh, particular problem. So here you can see uh, this circuit will have same resistance from this point till infinity. Again, if I connect a battery 
between these two points and till infinity it is going to have the same resistance of kr because uh, it's an infinite ladder and it is not going to make uh, any difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this circuit here i'm going to break the circuit here at this point and at this point and again i'll be getting a symmetrical circuit which will also have same resistance up till infinity so when i do that this is my remaining circuit here this is my remaining circuit i'll repeat this part again you can see here carefully i'm going to break it at this point and this point so this entire part will be left and for the remaining circuit i can uh, replace it with kr at these two points i'll be connecting it so when i do that i am going to get this is the remaining circuit here each resistance is r and the remaining circuit till infinity will also have a resistance of kr that is what i have written here now you can see it's a very simple circuit where this r and r these two are in series this these two are in series so this will become 2r this will become 2r these three resistances are also in uh, series so if you see carefully this is kr r and this is also r so overall uh, effective resistance of this branch is going to be it is going to be k plus 2r so further i'll be simplifying this so just now i have explained this is 2r this is 2r and this branch has resistance of uh, uh, k plus 2 times r and these three resistances are in parallel and again its equivalent resistance should be kr so i'll be using uh, effective resistance for this parallel uh, circuit so i can write 1 by r effective is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so this is 1 by 2r plus 1 by 2r plus 1 by k plus 2 times r that should be equal to 1 by k r because r effective is k r itself when i do that i am going to get a quadratic simplify it i'm not explaining the calculation part if you see you are going to get a quadratic equation which will have uh, two roots one positive one negative you can see here and from there i am going to get this k value as root 3 minus 1 once i know this value once i know this value of k i know the answer for this problem and it's going to be root 3 minus 1 times r this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed the uh, this question and the solution uh, of it if you have enjoyed it please leave a like share it with other friends and teachers and it's a request please uh, share it with everyone as much as you can it will be a great help for the channel and uh, i'll come up with another problem very soon thank you thank you very much